to have an opportunity to do a series and illustrate these um, legendary characters from the TV series, which I had watched as a kid also, was a dream come true. So I'm working with my number one all-time favorite comic book hero. And, uh, and then I'm getting to like bring these things to life in this, in this series from the, from the TV series and all the, all the villains are colorful, like just it's wackiness. And I loved it. Zoom pow wap, right? Just love the whole thing. So when the gallery had asked if I would do, you know, how do you feel about doing something like this? I, yes, that's, you didn't even have to ask. The answer will always be yes. So um, we started out with that and they had, you know, kind of the animated intro and like, what would it look like as that? And I said, okay, we could do pen and ink, you know, and some and marker and and wrap it around that, or you know, which would be more in that animated style, or we could do an illustrated style in colored pencil on dark paper, kind of like what I do with the characters and bring that richness there. And they came back and they're and eventually we we're like, yeah, let's actually we kind of want to see what this colored pencil looks like. So I started with the Riddler, and then I went through the characters too because there were multiple actors that played, you know, different characters and. Uh, you know, like Catwoman, Ju Julie Newmar, or um, Eartha Kitt, you know, which one are you going to pick? And I was always a Julie Newmar fan, loved Eartha Kitt too, but Julie Newmar was, you know, that was the crush. So in playing through that, um, it was going through and then doing poses that were unique, you know, and, and some that were kind of legendary in their poses, but bringing that to life. Well, I did Riddler and I showed it to them and I said, all right, if, if we did it, colored pencil on dark paper illustrated, you know, um, in their likeness, this is what I would do. And they were like, yeah, go with that. Let's see what it looks like. And so I didn't show them anything else until I was completely finished with all, there's nine villains that I did. And, uh, I went through and I submitted all of them at once and I said, okay, here you go. And, uh, and it went over huge and th that was great. And then initially there was going to be a cell image of the Batman Robin, um, intro from the animated intro with the silhouette of the bad guys behind him, which is the white eyes. And they were like, well, we were going to do that, but could you do a Batman and Robin? And, uh, and with that, and then that way we can actually customize it. So we can make this like a mixed media piece. And um, every single one that they do, I will actually draw on all of them in, you know, a way that makes it a, a unique piece. And I said, sure, we can do that. So I did that, that went over really well. And that's how this piece came to light. So in this whole thing, there every character on the limited AP, whatever edition they're calling it, that comes out, I'm gonna embellish on every single villain. And then I'm gonna draw in the henchmen on the back on every single one. So while you see the, the promo image that has them already in there, that will be removed and I will hand draw all of that on there. Plus I will have the R and the bat symbol that will not be on it because I'm going to hand draw those on every single piece also. So I get a chance to embellish. I get a chance to draw something unique on every single one. Um, and I'm, I'm stoked and that's coming out soon. So there's something to each villain that was, you, you know, like has that personality to it. So for instance, penguin, right. To me, if I'm going to do penguin, like I want that, like I, I want the, you know, the cigarette on the long, I forget what you call it on, on the, you know, the long stick. I want, you got to have the umbrella in there somewhere. He doesn't have to have the umbrella open, but like something to show that there's the umbrella with it, then the suit. And he's, you know, that debonair or whatever. So you want kind of like the, the, the pose to it and that, that smile, like there's something to it where I have enough of a profile too to see the nose. And uh, when I pick that, um, pose and went through it and add i added the umbrella and, and some other things when i was doing my concept sketch and that that was it and so there's things in there like julie newmar's catwoman like there, there's certain poses that she has that are, are great they're gorgeous you know um but there's other i want some sass to it right and there, there was something in like a julie newmar character that was very sexy to me and so there's the pose that i had for her as i was looking through reference images has with her which is not the normal pose but like the hair you know and the pose and just kind of more at a three-quarter angle and so you can see the you know you can see the gloves you can see the ears you can see all of it but just that kind of sassy pose to it and, and i went through that with each one um mr freeze was you know love victor freeze there's a bunch there's what three different actors that played freeze or two and so in, in that though, there was a pose that was kind of like, you want something a little stiff and, and rigid, you know, Mr. Freeze, a nice block dude. 
So there was something in those poses that I, I wanted Riddler, you know, with the ha, I like, I had to have that. Like it, there, there's plenty of poses of Riddler and action shots, but like what I remember and is burned in my memory from a kid is the, mm, right. So there's certain poses, certain looks on ways King Tut. I wanted the just gluttonous King Tut with, you know, the ostentatious everything and King Tut, even though he was only in what a couple um, man, that guy sticks out. Like there's, there, I, I never forgot King Tut. I couldn't remember what he did in any of those things, but I remember King Tut. And then, like, Egghead, which Scott Dickin had requested, and he was like, hey, well, what about Egghead on there? And I'm like, all right, Vincent Price, love Vincent Price. And there's that, just the something to the holding of the egg of, you know, and and the the way he's, his the smirk on his face. So each character, you know, even um, Zsa Zsa Gabor is Minerva, you know, and I, there's plenty of stuff with her just in the silvery, like sequiny stuff, but I, I wanted the fur, you know, you could show the gloves and everything, like there's something in that luxurious whatever, and you know, fur, and obviously just reminds me of Zsa Zsa, period. But each one had kind of that key, like pose of like, what would snap something for me, and that did it. The Batman project that we're doing with Chuck Jones, um, that's coming out, they're releasing the, they've released the images on individuals, so the originals are available, and then we're going to do this big piece, this compilation piece, which I'm chomping at the bit for. Um, I love pieces, and I collect pieces that mean something to me. They have a connection, and somehow I've got Chuck's originals, some drawings, you know, and sketches, sketchbook, I've got other friends of mine that are phenomenal and well-known and I collect theirs as well. And it's because the images that they're doing connect with me in a way. And what I loved about working on the Batman series for the, for the TV series and this uh, compilation that we're doing and just the characters is there's something to each one. Like I have father son memories of watching Batman, the TV series with my dad, you know, and, and him introducing kind of me to that little did he know what that would become. And, uh, and, and, so when when people are looking at these things, hopefully, I you know as they're looking at this piece, it's something that connects them to either something as a young adult, as a you know something as a child, something as a grown up, some memory you know of fondness in that universe that was created in this television series that allowed us to escape, right, enjoy, and, and just kind of be wowed by whatever story, whatever gadgets and, you know, whatever was going on with the actors on screen and these characters that were once in print that were now live action in front of us. My name's Ben Olson and I am proud, thrilled and honored to be working with the Chuck Jones galleries. And especially on these series that are coming out with the sixties, Batman um, characters, both villains and Batman and Robin themselves all of which can be viewed and collected with uh, the Chuck Jones Gallery. You can go to chuckjonescatalog.com um, and they've got information on how to read out, uh, reach out at client services at chuckjones.com for more information and how to collect these unique pieces.